subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Herzlich willkommen in meinem Trödelcenter in Überherrn. Today on Lady Mary Bath, we are in Germany. I'm taking you along to an indoor flea market with goods sourced from local estates. It's a don't miss. Come along for a warehouse full of treasures. Geöffnet. They are open and ready for us today. You'll notice the sign above the door also says Entrée because we are just a couple of minutes from France and across the street from Linslerhof, the family estate of Villeroy and Bach. Can't wait to share this fantastic shop with you today. It's family owned. For over 20 years, they have bought out estates. They do not have conventional estate sales where people line up at the door. It is a company that will do a buyout and they are sharing their wonderful wares with us today. Es ist ein Paradies für alle Schnäppchenjäger. It is a paradise for bargain hunters. There are lots of mid-century items. It is that era, you'll notice. And some antiques, including an item from the 1700s. And it just goes on for miles. It is such a fantastic shop and you won't believe the deals. You'll get on the next plane just so that you can shop here. Welcome to this indoor flea market. It is the Trödelcenter, and they have 800 square meters of treasures, including some crystal glassware, mid-century finds, furnishings, and antiques, and lots of tabletop. Let's take a look around the store. These are very collectible, especially in the United States. They are made in the Erzgebirge, which is the former East Germany. And they're actually priced quite well. I've seen these in the shop windows over the holidays and they were as much as 500 euros. This one here is 160 euros, which I think is an excellent deal. And they are electrified. Isn't that gorgeous? And in perfect condition, they probably were barely used. And this large one here is 130 euros and fantastic. And they can be placed in a window or on a table. It's a well-organized store. They have lots of cabinets with some valuables, and then they have rows of crystal housewares, collectibles. You'll notice how everything is so well-organized, decanters, vases, and even a ruby cut to clear at the end. That is a great piece. And bells, I think these are very useful. You can keep on a bedside table. If someone is sick, then they can ring for you. We actually do use those in our home. And the prices are incredible. Four euros, eight euros for this cut crystal basket. Amazing. So I'm moseying along and I happen to be looking at this crystal bowl and I'm thinking three euros is a really great deal that would make a wonderful gift. And I see the shadow of a sticker. I turn it around. It's Waterford Crystal, an unbelievable find in Germany. They don't sell Waterford in Germany. Someone must have traveled. It has the original sticker. It's called a variety bowl made in Poland. And it is the Waterford brand. Can't believe it. You know that's going home with me. This is a small ice bucket that would be great for adding to your barware. And in Europe, you don't serve very much ice. So it's a perfect size for 16 euros. And you'll notice it is made by Nachtmann. It still has the sticker. That's a company that's been around in Bavaria since 1834, and I'm going to tell you more about it in just a minute. Six euros for this small compote, oversized maybe dessert dish. And I'm thinking this was a hawk wine that has been converted into a bell, and that is the emerald cut to clear. And this candlestick also has the original sticker, and I think my mother had this one, and it is from the Villarin Bach company for 16 euros and it says Bleikristall made in West Germany which dates it prior to 1990. And these candlesticks here are actually pressed glass, most likely French, 
from probably the early 1900s or late 1800s, 18 euros, you can't beat these prices. Everything is so affordable. And it's very much like shopping at a flea market, except I think the prices are even better. You may wonder what these are. There are quite a few in different sizes. And these actually fit into some of the older cabinets that were in kitchens so that you would fill them with salt, flour, or sugar. We had these in our home and we gifted them to a friend along with the cabinets because that's something that she wanted to add to her home. It's certainly an affordable option to shop the secondary market. If you're looking to expand your tabletop collection or find an affordable gift, for five euros, a triple footed pressed glass bowl. There are so many options here that it can be overwhelming. And I think you don't look at a retail store the same once you've seen the craftsmanship and the prices here. And this stack of eight bowls or plates for 14 euros, we call those ice cream dishes. And we have quite a lot in our home. It's used for any type of dessert. And that is something you can't find today with the quality. Villar and Bach had a Paloma Picasso collection with crystal and a bone china in the 80s. 16 euros, that's a steal with the original box. I can tell you that cost a lot more even back when it was German marks. Classic crystal vases are plentiful here. And when I'm looking for a hostess gift for our busy social schedule, I do like to pop in and pick up something affordable, such as this mini rose bowl for six euros. And the larger one at 16 is also a deal. And you'll see that iconic Hobstar design and the notched rim. And they have an assortment of vases, some from Poland and France. Many homes here have an assortment of crystal decanters, and especially in the mid-century. This sweet and petite one is a brand that you may not recognize, but yet they've manufactured many of your favorite crystal brands, Nachtmann. That's a factory that makes for Tiffany & Company, Marquis by Waterford, Gorham, Lennox, many other brands. This is well priced at 22 euros. It's quite common to have promotional glasses with logos, whether it's a beer company or any kind of cocktail. And that is something you see often in German homes and people do collect these. And then you have the more traditional Elsässer, which is a Rhine wine with a green stem, three euros. That is a great price, especially those that are etched. They're quite lovely for white wine. And they have an amazing assortment, including sherry glasses. This is definitely cut crystal. You'll see even the stem has some detail along with the bowl and the base. Those are the three components of a stem. And the cut to clear makes my heart sing. I think if you were here, you would probably buy one in every color. Can't wait to show you these up close. Look at that, it's like a beautiful rainbow. They have a nice selection of cut to clear. And this is something that is quite coveted in the United States. In Germany, not so much. The prices are amazing. It's a process of dipping crystal into colored crystal so that when it's hand cut, it reverses back to the original clear crystal. And you have some intricate, beautiful designs, lots of labor involved in each glass. For 16 euros, that's an amazing deal. And look at the detail on the base. Wouldn't this be great for orange juice in the morning at your breakfast table? I have always wanted one of these a friend has that I've admired. Unser täglich Brot gib uns heute. Give us this day our daily bread. And it's something that you can place on your table with some morning pastries or your morning rolls. And for 12 euros, that's going home with me today. Let's take a look at the back of the store where we have some beautiful wall clocks. And wouldn't it be nice to add a timepiece to your home, even if you have your clock already on your phone, you feel like you don't need it. I think it still adds interest. For 85 euros, you can have this antique piece. We have a similar one hanging in our dining room at our home here in Germany. This 1950s kitchen cabinet is one that I have never seen before. You'll notice where the upper and lower cabinets meet you have the pull-out drawers for the basic staples. And I'm thinking this would be perfect for a Hollywood set. It's original in every way. And mid-century with its resurgence would definitely um, 
be a nice addition to a modern home that is trying to embrace that era. And there are lots of collector's plates here that we'll see today as well. Now I wanna show you inside this kitchen cabinet. You'll notice some authentic condiment sets, things that were appropriate for the era, and the original liner. And we'll take a look as well inside this cabinet. And if you look at the colors, maybe it's a bit darkened over time, but it is original. It features all of the colors that you see on the front of the cabinet. Hirschgewei. Look at these antlers. They're about 16 euros a piece. And it is very fitting for this part of Germany, a very forested area. And this grandfather clock looks like maybe it's from the 1930s or 40s for 380 euros. Lots of detail there with the carved wood and even the clock face is quite beautiful and in perfect condition. And some lighting wear choices that I wish I had had when we renovated our home here. Beautiful crystal chandeliers, 420 euros. A nice variety and great prices. And this is a bit more modern. And there's not a lot of lighting wear in this area, I will say, when you shop retail. It tends to be just the box stores. And for 240, that would be a gorgeous chandelier to add. We'll definitely be shopping here more often. Look at that chaise longue. Isn't that incredible? And it looks like it's in great condition with the upholstery. Another look at that clock. There's always something to discover in the next little area. And lots of religious pieces as well, you'll see. And even baby dolls were highly collectible in the 50s and 60s. And this beautiful piece of furniture that will amaze you. Hand carved, just an incredible piece. Take it all in. We'll take a closer look. Sometimes you walk into a shop and you see something that takes your breath away and then you see the price and you just can't believe your eyes. Well, this is definitely the find of the day for 320 euros, which is about $330. Look at this carved French antique with great storage. You would need tall ceilings for this. And wouldn't that be a great addition to your home? It could even go in an entryway if you had the space. And this would probably be about $3,000 in the United States if you found it at an antique shop. And what an incredible piece of work here. Look at all of this detail. Absolutely amazing. You definitely would need tall ceilings for this particular piece. And our home here in Germany does not have tall ceilings, so that would not work for us. But I'm sure that the American market could certainly have spot for that. Look at these dolls. This is typical for the 1950s. You'll see the types of plastic that were used. And we have some more clocks, mounted animals, collections of butterflies even a crucifix, just a little bit of everything here in this shop, which makes it so interesting. I'm sure if you brought your children, they could find something of interest as well. A cuckoo clock for 200 euros. I love it. And here is a stellar piece of antique furniture. This is quite the statement piece. And again, with lots of detail, hand carved. This looks to be French. I would definitely say that 5,500 euros. And I'm sure that they would work with you on the price. They're so generous here in the shop. And look at this clock for 35 euros. That would be an interesting piece to add to your home decor and purposeful as well. I see some cobalt cut to clear. Look at that stunning vase and some wine glasses. You'll notice the notched rim. It's 120 euros. I even like the doily that's underneath. For Christmas, that's something that's been hand embroidered. I'm gonna take this back to Texas. Of course, I could keep it at my home in Germany, but I think I'm going to add it to maybe a different look that I have in the dining room. Here's another fabulous clock. 
You also find a lot of wall clocks and some mantel clocks here at the Trödelcenta. And keep in mind that many of these estates are from the mid-century era 1960s, although this one does look a bit art deco. It's a beautiful piece. It plays Ave Maria and it has a Westminster chime and it is 380 euros. And you'll see some more along the way as well. And clocks add a lot of interest to your home and it keeps your family on time. And if you don't have a clock, maybe you can take some time to think about it. And some more clocks, lots of wall art as well, including some wildlife. And that kitchen clock is interesting. We'll have to come back to that in just a minute. And you see lots of oak now. Oak would probably have been more the 1960s that that became a bit more popular. The darker woods would have been prior to that era. And an interesting plate there too. Here's that kitchen clock. My husband's grandmother had this one, 55 euros, probably from about the 1950s. This one I think is striking. That is definitely more the antique look that interests me. 320 euros. This is a Villar and Bach piece for 55 euros. You're probably wondering what could this be? It's for shaving. Some steals on these grandfather clocks. This is 280 euros and it has a beautiful clock face, J.M. Guillette. It's probably from France. I do see some writing underneath that is indicative of that. And we are just a few miles from the French border. So you do see a lot of other European antiques, not just from Germany. And this has a lovely grandmother form. It is over five feet, so it's probably technically a grandfather clock. This one here has some great storage. I don't see a brand. That is a really good deal to add to your home. And there's always something wonderful to be discovered in a case. Let's take a look and we find Christmas that's always in season. Vintage German Christmas ornaments are highly collectible and many of them are sought after. Here are some that I think are probably from the 1950s and these do go for a lot. And I'm sure they're well priced here today. I haven't taken a look at that. But these look to be a bit older, these birds that are hand-blown glass. They clip on the tree, they're 12 euros each. And I've met collectors who are willing to pay thousands for that special ornament for their collection. I wonder if you shop for Christmas all year. Some of these look to be mercury ornaments. And a lot of German families have real trees with candles still. And they do like the metal ornaments or glass and certainly they shy away from the plastic. And that's one more reason to shop the secondary market and reuse something from the past. Look at that sparkly crystal for 120 euros. Do you recognize the brand? I bet you do. I always look for crystal pieces. Here's a really neat seahorse. It's Crystal Dock. It is $20. That is something I had not seen before. And then the Villarin Bach, the small figurines. Here's a turtle for $18 and a snail also for $18. We have items like this from VNB that we placed in one of our bookshelves. It's actually a secretary that's in one of our guest rooms. And you might want to take a look at the home tour of our house here in Germany, where you can see how I incorporate these into our everyday. And you never know when you'll find Swarovski. This is Austrian crystal. Isn't that lotus flower just exquisite? such a special piece and it's actually a candle holder and here's a Swarovski turtle as well that's some beautiful crystal items they have a box full of silver plate just as you walk in and I looked at the back stamp it is Recourt and I couldn't find any information on it but it is listed as 100 which means the upper end and quality of silver plate isn't that just a beautiful design it reminds me of the Marley pattern from Christophe that would be beautiful on a table and they do have the dinner forks along with the luncheon forks or here they would probably be called cake forks and that actually would be a nice addition to your table you would have some flexibility with serving and it is two euros per piece and if you bought the whole set i'm sure they'd give you a deal and that Swarovski water lily retails for well over 250 US dollars. This iron plate fits inside of a fireplace. It's a heat shield, 350 euros. It's also decorative. We have some similar ones in our fireplace. 
And it's always worth looking in the locked cases for smaller items such as jewelry, watches, and some more collectibles and rosaries. These stuffed animals might seem unimportant at first glance, but they actually may hold some value. Steif is a German brand known for the Knopf im Ohr, the button in the ear. And even though the little ribbons may have come off over time, these look to be Steif. Highly collectible, 14 euros for the kitty cat. And this camel would actually go very well with a Christmas display. It would fit within a nativity or even just any decorative little area, 18 euros, when you're setting up for the holidays. This coffee set is exquisite. It is 480 euros and it looks to be Meissen, I believe, with a back stamp. And Villarimbach is well represented because we are in the Saarland, the home of the company Villarimbach. And there are lots of different items to discover. This geranium pattern actually has two different back stamps. This four euro cereal or fruit bowl says cappuccino. It's the geranium pattern that was Princess Diana's breakfast set. And it does bring joy. It's a cheerful yellow. Look at that beautiful back stamp. And it's made in Germany. And there's a reason for that. If you follow me on social media, I've explained the history of that and the U.S. Tariffs Act and why that was required. And those are warmers. The fish plates are so beautiful. And they are from France, which is just across the way, of course. And here's another Villarimbach pattern. The rimmed soup is eight euros. And it's not one that you see too often. It's the Palatino. And that could have been for a restaurant. A lot of these, or some of these at least, were made specifically for culinary. The Payon pattern, 22 euros for that vase. This was popular in the 60s, 70s, maybe even into the 80s. We have quite a few pieces at our home in Germany here including a floor vase. And this is the Switch 3 pattern that was popular in the 90s. Love that blue and green. It's a classic look, rather refreshing, and something from the 50s. Villarenbach is a company started in Metlach, Germany, just down the road in 1748. And since then, they've been making some wonderful dishes and also bathrooms and other things. It's not only about tabletop. And here we have an example of a 1950s teapot. Isn't that sweet with the polka dots? And intarsia is a pattern that came out in about 1990 when I was studying in Heidelberg. I remember seeing this in a shop window. It's very hard to find. This one is 22 euros for the plate. A back stamp has a wealth of information and you can learn more about the piece. Just love that. This canister set looks to be maybe from the 1920s or 30s. And it's made by a company called Bayer and Bach, unaffiliated with Villeroy and Bach. These are 22 euros each. And this is a company that was known for its quality and they exported all over Europe and even to North and South America. And this mug, it's a beer sign for 12 euros. What a deal, Zabrücken. And look at this fish platter for 45 euros. It's like something I've never seen. I love it when it's new to me. This would have been a great addition to our Zilvesta or New Year's Eve table. Maybe we'll have it for next year. Definitely a purposeful piece. And it's made by Villarin Bach in the 1980s. European carp. It was an entire series I found out. The Casa Azul pattern from Villarin Bach was rather short lived. It came out in the 90s. And at eight euros, this trios is an incredible deal. And it's one of my patterns. I don't know why I didn't pick it up. I think they had two sets. I will have to go back and get this. And they have a lot of fine bone china as well under the Heinrich label, which is a company they purchased. Louisiana is the pattern. Isn't that gorgeous? It's 16 euros for a cup and saucer. And these plates are colorful from probably the 1960s. Six euros each, and that's for fondue. And that's made in Luxembourg. They actually did manufacture some outside of Germany, even in France. And you'll see a wide range of products. So many different patterns. That's a restaurant one right there that I've seen in Medlach. 
Up until the mid 90s, most B&B patterns were made with a Stöfchen or a tea warmer, and that could be used for a coffee pot or teapot. And that was definitely something that I appreciated when I made my selections as a bride. Unfortunately, they don't tend to make these anymore for the patterns. This is 16 euros, and you could possibly fit a teapot on it from another pattern, just depending on the size. You place a tea light candle inside, and it keeps your teapot warm throughout tea time. And some of the older Villarenbach pieces as well. For a collector, this certainly would be a treasure trove. Here's a transferware plate that commemorates the Zahschleife, which is near Metlach, and which is the headquarters for Villarenbach, and it's where the Zar River bends, and it's very popular. Now they have the Baumwipfelfahrt, and it's a tourist attraction. And look what we have here. What a surprise. Did not expect this today. And amongst the dishes, we have a rack of mink coats. Isn't this incredible? 160 euros. You can't find this in the States. This is a bit big on me and I already do have one, but you, know, you can do so much with the mink. You can even cut it down into a fur vest. We'll take a look at some of these coats. This short mink would have been for an evening out and it has some detailing inside and it is from Berlin. So you can imagine the gala events and you know, that's quite nice and comfortable. Hanging here on the edge of the bookshelf is this lynx coat. It's called Lux in German. And keep in mind, this was originally sourced in probably the 1960s. It is 65 euros, which is about 70 US dollars. Isn't that just amazing to think that the price could be so low? But I guess there's just not much of a demand for it in Germany. And it's in perfect condition. You know you're in Germany when they have a dundel in the thrift store. And these are traditional outfits usually worn in Bavaria and around September and October during the famous Oktoberfest, you do see a lot of these. And they're 50 euros today and they retail here for about $200. I see the original price tag and they do have quite a selection. The vast dish collection continues. So many different styles and quality as well. You'll have the bone china, the faience, and the vitrified porcelain. This portobello pattern is something new to me. It's got some beautiful cherry blossoms, which would fit very well with the summer season when cherries are ripe. The Alt Luxembourg is a classic blue and white pattern. And this is more the cream wear with the older pieces, whereas the newer ones you find in the store today have a bit more of the stark white. Obanai is an Alsatian pattern. My mother-in-law has this, and we enjoy every meal on these beautiful plates. And these beer steins are exquisite. Aren't those just fantastic with the raised relief? It's almost like a German version of Wedgwood. And I found some very similar to this at Resale with a Purpose in Tomball, Texas. Glad to see these here. And here's just a glimpse at some of the shelves that we've seen. Lots to discover here. And there are also some linens. There's so much more in the store. We just can't see it all. But I wanted to share with you at least some of the dish patterns and collectible beer steins. These would be great souvenirs and quite affordable. At the airport, I've noticed these for 60 and 70 euros. In here, they're 16 euros and under. How about four euros? That sounds like a deal. This one has the German states before they had the reunification, because you'll see the East is not represented here. That's very affordable. A beer stein is known as a beer Krug in German, and they're highly collectible here and in the United States. And they have lids for a reason. At some point, there was a law stating that they had to do that for hygiene reasons. And here on the base, we have a beautiful Villa Reinbach back stamp. This one was made in 1976 to celebrate the capital of this state, Saarbrücken. Isn't that a great deal for 18 euros? And oftentimes, beer steins can commemorate an event or even a brewery. And the capital is Saarland, Saarbrücken. 
This one here, I would venture to say is probably from about 1900 because of the pewter lid and the style of the script. However, it's actually commemorating one that is an older piece. And you can tell by that lower back stamp that that's a newer one. Very well done. That would be a great start to a collection. And now we're just gonna walk quickly past some of the everyday housewares, candles, mixing bowls, cake pans, and take a look at some more beautiful items. And here you even have some table lamps, more clothing. But I want to take you to this crystal, three euros each. This is the Valorian Bach Connoisseur pattern. We have this along with its companion pattern, Arabelle. Three euros is an incredible deal. You would pay that for a suite at the bakery. 60 euros for the silver overlay and ruby cut to clear. It's an incredible piece. And you have kind of a mixture of things from a Waterman pin to a Mercedes logo for 40 euros, a guidebook and some historical type pieces. And now we're going to go over to some more dishes. I wanted to point this out. This is more probably 1980s right here with the terrine, 75 euros. But down below we have a true mid-century coffee and tea set in that malachite pattern. And it is from the 1960s. Absolutely, you can tell by the shape of the cups and by the back stamp. And it's a bit unusual to find a teapot, especially one that's intact, because in Germany, you mostly serve coffee. You do not serve tea at tea time, even though they would call it Kaffee, Kaffee und Kuchen. 35 euros for that teapot. It's gorgeous. And it's from Bavaria would love to add this. I probably should have purchased that. I know many of us collect blue and white and anything from Delft. And they do have a couple of plates here. They're 22 euros each, and they're mostly for displaying. Of course, you could actually use them. And it says Delft's Blau from Maastricht, which is not in Delft, but I think it is made in the style of Delft. And this one I think is even more interesting. Here, the lady with the bird for 22 euros. And it has some information here based on a painting from 1635. And let's look at the back stamp. And it's also made in Holland. Maastricht must be the brand. In Germany, there are no built-in closets. And that's why you have a Kleiderschrank or a wardrobe. Each bedroom will have one and oftentimes the entryway for holding coats. This is a great example of one that's been hand painted. It looks like maybe it's from Switzerland from 1771. And the cabinet maker was Josef Sternbauer. 1,200 euros. This could easily be snatched up by an antiques dealer and sold for even 100,000 euros. I'm not particularly knowledgeable about this exact cabinet, but I do have a friend in Germany who over the years has purchased cabinets like this and sold them worldwide for lots. And that could be a really good investment. This is one you would find maybe in some of the older homes like our home. The more modern version today would be a little bit shallower, longer, fills up an entire wall and is extremely portable because these come in different pieces. You can disassemble them. Great storage underneath. We have these in all the rooms of our home in Germany, 200 euros. I sure hope you've enjoyed this today. I certainly enjoy taking you along and showing you a wonderful indoor flea market in our home state of the Saarland. And be sure to look in the video description. I will share everything with you and how to find this wonderful shop. And maybe you will even spot Waterford Crystal for three euros. I found some great things here as a Trudel Center in Überhaun. And make sure to look in the video description for the phone number address so that you can shop here too. If you live on the French and German border or in the Benelux countries, you're actually not very far away. I'm taking home this cobalt cut to clear because I think it's perfect for orange juice at my place setting each morning. And at 16 euros, that will be my indulgence. And who would have imagined Waterford Crystal in Germany for $3? That was the find of the day. And this lovely Villa Rainbach fish platter and the glasses to add to our collection at home and possibly the links. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Beth.
Coming to you from Germany, elevate your everyday with resale shopping.